on the end of this pole is a highly directional microphone. We put that into the water and we should be able to hear the sperm whale. Andrew Armour has worked with whales for over 20 years. He can pick out the faintest of calls. Hear that? What do you hear? Sounds like whales. Their calls can travel over 30 miles. And there are several distinct types. I do hear it now, now that yeah. you've pointed it out. This kind of call is known as coda, and sperm whales use it for communication. So this is almost certainly a group. This is my chance to get up close to these giants. OK, get it now, get it now. I've joined a baby and an adult female. Female sperm whales live in family groups up to 20 strong. The rest of this pod could well be hunting far below us. Youngsters can't dive deep, so this babysitter has stayed at the surface. It could be mum, an aunt, or even grandma. She's playing with me, mirroring my movements. As she dives, she swings past my cameraman. That tail has the force to power a giant. It could easily kill a human. Yet she takes care not to hit either of us. It's a remarkable display of agility. The whales are just as fascinated with me as I am with them. It's a far cry from the meetings between our species in the days of whaling. I am absolutely shaking like a leaf. She brought her calf right alongside us, span over onto her side so that she was looking directly in my eyes from no more than a couple of metres away. And then she pirouetted like a ballerina and swept past me. But she made so sure that she didn't hit me. 